Hey, what's up guys? This is Double X here, and I am going to be casting a 1 versus 1 between Liquid Hey Pro, who's going to be the Red Zerg spawning in the top right side, and his opponent is going to be the Blue Pro, that's Sunni Azerok, or Sunny Azerok, or... Um, I'll probably just call him Azerok, because that's easy to say, but anyways, this is going to be a 1 versus 1 from the Korean server, and uh, Azerok is currently ranked 2nd, on a Masters League in Korean, not in Grandmasters, but it's so damn hard to get into the Korean Grandmasters League because the Korean server is the most competitive one, so being ranked second in a Masters League on the Korean server is not shabby at all, but his opponent Liquid Hey Pro is ranked first in another Masters League, so you would you could consider Hey Pro as a better player, but um, I think they're um, equal players. And the map for today's game is going to be uh, <coughs> Shakura's Plateau. And it's going to be new version of Shakura's Plateau. You can see this back the rocks are no longer existing. Their steady rocks are here so you can attack those and grab this expansion. And uh, rocks here has been removed so... <coughs> mm -hmm. So we got to have Protoss versus Sergen and bring up the production tab. We can see that he's going pool Hey Pro is going pool first. Almost halfway finished. I think it was a 13 pool or something like that. And uh, they have both scattered each other right away. <coughs> <coughs> but keep in mind that uh, Hey Pro hasn't drone scattered yet, so he will have that slight economic advantage on Asrock as of now. We can see that Asrock is going to go standard. There goes the cybernetics core and the Zealot will most likely pop in any minute. Or he could skip that and go for his uh, stalker right away. <coughs> <coughs> but I, you have to excuse my coughing. I wanted to cast so badly after being sick in uh, for so so long but uh, <coughs> I was feeling great until I uh, started casting I guess because uh, that is when I started coughing we can see that Liquid Hey Pro is going to grab his uh, natural and meanwhile going to uh, scout out with two circlings going to secure this watchtower this probe is most likely going to die yes it is and uh, Ashrock is going to grab that first cell and then I don't think yes it will spawn before the circling can get up this ramp so if you just place this here and no it Excuse me, he has it then an unholy position so these circlings can't do anything. <coughs> but they can always hack away at his uh, <coughs> cybernetic score, but uh, they know that something else is spawning here so the uh Hapro can assume that it will be a ranged unit, which sentry is all ranged unit, so circlings did leave. But uh <coughs> Hapro now has this expansion up running, so his economy will just uh, shoot through the roof if you compare to an Azrock. And what is... and someone is pinging the map. I don't know why, but... Uh, <laughs> and I actually don't know where this game is from, but... Uh, apparently there are uh, observers in this game, so... <coughs> <coughs> maybe from some tournament or anything, but... Yeah, let's see. We can see that Asrock is going to secure his uh, expansion in a while. You can see he's building up a lot of sentries. Going to spawn two more from these gateways. <sighs> Timed perfectly with his Warcade technology. He's going to upgrade this into Warcade as soon as the finish building. And uh, he will most likely add on a third gateway very soon. As you can see, his Nexus now starting to building. And he has a... Uh, Pylon down here, so we'll have to build a gateway here or something, I assume. But getting in a lot of sentries this early in the game is just great for the late game, especially against Zerg, where you will need a lot of force fields for their ground army, which is usually the main uh, uh, ground units, is usually what a Zerg army consists of. So, uh, Force fields are always nice, you can use that for guardian shields and also a hallucination for scout as well. Because he's going to put up two additional warp gates. 
I'm not surprised to see a robotics or uh, maybe a 5th and 6th gate with soon because you can afford to produce of that off of two uh, <coughs> expansions, although he hasn't got his expansion up and running just yet. Hey, Prado has his certain speed up and also going for, go for two spine crawlers, which I'm really curious to why because <laughs> he knows that uh, Ashrock is expanding. So, uh, I don't know how, why he put up those spines, but because he's going to grab double gas right now and uh, also getting a roach warren with a evolution chamber and his layers is halfway down so let I'm curious to see which build is going to go <coughs> let's go to spawn a bunch of roaches right now and we can see that he, Ashrock is uh, looking to move out now and put on some pressure and how many sentries are this in his army wow he has nine sentries that is your sick he killed He's so many guardian shields and so many force fields. I'm also going to get a prox pylon. As close as possible. But these two spines are going to protect his pro for a while. And see some nice forces are going to block all the roaches from uh, attacking this unit so we can safely <coughs> focus fire down the queen and the spine cross is going to reinforce with more stalkers. Because of this war kit uh because the end prox pylon sees he was sitting on a bunch of minerals, but now he has... He's spending them to get those reinforcement stalkers, and uh, he's in a nice position right now, because you see, seven roaches are going to spawn for Hyper, and Hyper has to <coughs> attack with all his drones, but Force Fist is again going to block all of Hyper's units from reaching to Astrox stalkers and sentries, and more warpins are going to uh, come here. But and uh, not much is going on in this base. He should definitely take those two assimilators. But now the uh, attack has been held off by Hey Pro. But uh, <coughs> remember that uh, roaches are armored units, so they're not ideal to uh, use if you're fighting against stalkers because stalkers do that additional damage against armored units. But uh, roaches are really cheap and cost effective. They can do a lot of damage in uh, great numbers, so definitely uh, an option in every situation. And uh, not more force fields are going to block off Hippo from attacking <coughs> at Azrock. And I'm, uh, we can see that these sentries don't have too much energy left. But now he is inside his main base and going to, no, it's natural, but uh, going to force those drones out of mining again. We can see that Hapro has borrowed and the tunnel cross on the way, so that is going to give him a huge opportunity because of all those roaches. You can see he's borrowing and uh, going to regenerate some health and then go to borrow again and regenerate more health. The only downside to this is that he cannot attack while borrowed, so that will give uh, Ashrock a opportunity to attack his buildings. You see, only five, six roaches are remaining. <coughs> An acro would probably have to micro the stalker into the back. He's not doing a great job uh, uh, reinforcing this uh, right now, but he has put up a forge and uh, no additional gateways. Just now, two gateways going to build. <coughs> also sending a pro back here to scout if uh, Hey Pro has uh, taken another base, but he has not doing all this. Because he has not even uh, getting his natural fully saturated yet because of all this, this uh, pressure from Asrock. Asrock did a really great job uh, in pressuring Hapro. Now he can just sit back and micro up a nice army because he's going to put up a robotics bay here and he has seven gateways to warp from. So he also has those upgrades going. So this is looking really good for Asrock and. Hapro will have to do something uh, crazy if he's going to turn this around. <coughs> but we can see that he is getting uh, both... Uh, these roaches are plus... Uh, well, we can't see uh, the attack when they're bar, but uh, I know for a fact that they are plus one and he's now upgrading plus two attack for them and he also has plus one armor on the way and also the road speed so these roaches are being are going to be so much better 
when it's going to move out next time. But look at this. Ashok's feeling confident to secure a third base. So he's one base ahead of Zerg when the, there's the Zerg. You should be ahead one base on every other race <coughs> to feel comfortable. And you can see he's just skyrocketing in the supply because of uh, his great economy. Ashok is just looking great shape right now. He has seven warp gates and also a robotic facility. I wouldn't be surprised if he's going to add a uh, robotic space soon, but uh, that would be a risk to invest in Colossus this late in the game. So he's probably most likely going to stick with Sentry and Stalkers against these mass roaches from Hapro because Stalkers do that additional damage to roaches and Sentries are really good with their Guardian Shields and their Force Fields against those ground units. But Hapro is going to secure his third and sneaking out a drone to do that before this attack commences but if a pro no Astrox is wise he is going to check out this first and he already did because he has the proxy pylon over there spotting this <coughs> what we force set us to take this out a pro will most likely cancel this no he did not he actually let that be killed <coughs> and some force with him going to block Astrox from attacking going to come up here and he also has a uh, uh, observer to spot all those borrowed roaches so this is most likely going to go into Astrox's favor look at how many stalkers he has and has proxy pylons back here just allowing him to reinforce with seven stalkers at a time and April looks like he wants to pull all his drones but he cannot and then he just leaves because <coughs> replay ended so great play by Astrox he it's a Korean player, so I'm not surprised. Uh, Hapro is from Sweden, and the uh, Swedes are actually known for being great in StarCraft and other games as well, but he's just... Uh, he pulled off this game so great and uh, put out all that early pressure and expanding more than his opponent, although he did not saturate this at all, but still kept Hapro on his toes and... Uh, he only produced a lot of roaches, which uh, can be countered by a lot of stocks and centers. So good game, Astrock. This was uh, this was uh, for this time. I hope you guys know it. I'll see you guys next time.